back at the iconic life of a figure in the world of comedy well known here in Western New York. Buffalo native Mark Russell has passed away at the age of 90. As a satirist, Russell made a career of poking fun at politics and politicians. Channel 2's Dave McKinley is here with more and Dave Russell was even respected greatly by the very people he was making fun of often. <laughs> well, indeed, Lauren, in part because he was an equal opportunity satirist. Not one, uh, no one rather was immune, and he made comedic points without being nasty. That's almost refreshing in today's polarized political environment. He was unique to say the least. His sharp wit and creativity mixed music and stand-up comedy, often through the parodies he'd plink out on a trademark American flag-themed piano, most often about politics and current events. He also had a special connection to the National Comedy Center in Jamestown, of which he was a founding advisory board member, and where his archives are preserved. We knew each other uh, for years before the Comedy Center concept even came about. Uh, and I can't tell you how many laughs I've shared with Mark Russell floating on Chautauqua Lake, uh, walking on the grounds of the institution, the Chautauqua Institution, or right here in the National Comedy Center, including when he sat on our prank seat uh, with George Schlaughter, the creator of Laugh-In, right here behind me. Thinking about this, we take our politics so seriously. Was famous Russell was famous perhaps most for saying he didn't need our comedy writers because he had 535 of them at his disposal 435 of whom were members of the House of Representatives 100 others who were in the Senate Mark Russell born Joseph Russ Lander in Buffalo in 1932 attended Canisius High School he retired from performing only six years ago when he was 84 Lauren